guys, um, I thought I would film a what's in my bag today. So this is a little bit of a splurge. I went to uh, Vegas at the beginning of October with my family and when I went um, I decided that I would splurge on a Kate Spade. Now mind you, this was not full price. We went to the outlets in, um, I think it was the, the Northern outlets maybe, I don't know. But, and I picked this up. So it was a fraction of the price. And if I can figure out like the model, um, number and all of that, I will, but I can't guarantee I know even where to look for that information. But what I love about it is it's big, as you can tell. It's huge, but because of where I work, Oz is coming in to say hi. Oh, no, we lost him. You can come say hi. Well, come here. What? Come here. No, nope, not gonna work. So what I like about it is it's big, and so I can fit a lot into it, which means um, to and from work it's really nice. Sometimes when I need just a, like to run in somewhere really quick, it can be kind of burdensome because it is so big, but that's okay. I love my big purses, but... Um, I have literally spent all week, um, work week, kind of a crazy week, and have just thrown things in here. Um, literally, it is a disaster. So, let's see what's in here. I didn't clean anything out. Alrighty, let's start with, and if you can hear something in the background, it's my washer. I didn't think it would make as much noise as it is currently making so please forgive me first thing in here is my wallet um funny thing is my this came from the vegas outlets as well a couple years ago my parents went and what i like about it is it literally holds so much it's great but i'm not going to show you the inside of it because well my driver's license and stuff you don't need to see that kind of stuff let's see what else is in here mail what else do we got we got my agenda which this tells you how big this bag is. This is a full size agenda, like this is a full eight by 10. And this is the bag. <laughs> it fits. But yeah, I don't know about anybody else, but I still like having a paper agenda. I still like, I still use my iPhone calendar and all that, but I like to be able to write things down. We've got my cord mess. This is a bag that has um, my power pack, this thing is awesome. It It's big, but it holds so many charges. And I have an iPhone, and if you're an iPhone user, you know it always dies, and it always dies when you need it the most. And then there's all of my other cords, my Fitbit that I need to charge. Let's see what else is in here. Mail that I need to actually mail. A receipt. A uh, Ipsy bag that has... Um, some checkbooks, yes, because I'm one of the few millennials. Well, am I a millennial? I don't know. Um, but I'm one of a few 20-something-year-olds that still has checks, some coupons. But Ipsy bags are great for organization. I've got my glasses. So, a spare set of keys. So, I'm the kind of person who locks myself out a lot. Um, fortunately, my car that I've got now, if the keys are in the ignition, the doors won't lock. But I get out of my car with the keys in the ignition. Car not running, but keys in the ignition and lock the doors all the time. So what I started doing is I've got a complete set of keys. It's got my house key, my car key, all that kind of stuff. And I actually keep it on the, um, I had, I use them, um, but that's why they're not in here. And I keep them in this zipper pocket. And because very rarely do I get out of my car without my purse. So if I lock myself out, I've got this. I've also like, I also like it because my keys, which aren't in here, are kind of bulky. So if I'm not taking my purse, these are way nicer. I've got... Let's go inside. It's got two um, pockets, cell phones, stuff like that can fit in there. And in there I've got my ID badge for work. Woohoo, go Vikes. Be nice, I know they're struggling now. I've got a pair of cuticle clippers. It's probably really safe to have in there. A random $10 bill. 
and hair ties. That's all for that one. This one's got a piece of paper with somebody's lunch order when I went and got lunch the other day, and then three lip glosses. This is the Alme Color Plus Care in Pink Pout. Alme Color Plus Care in Rosy Lipped. Um, next Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. I like this one. I wear that one a lot. Then I've got another Ipsy bag, but what I've got in here are, so since I've got a nice bag, I don't want pens and stuff rolling around and marking up the inside, so I've got pens, some um, post-it notes, all stuff that I need for the inside of my agenda. That's nice. Another receipt. Gum wrappers. See, I told you, I didn't clean any of this out. More hair ties. Two uh, hand lotions because yes, we need two. Um, this is the Bath and Body Works Nourishing Cream with Shea Butter and Vitamin E in Nectarine Sun Tea. Oh, I love the way this stuff smells. Oh, now Oz wants to come smell. He wants to come smell, but he doesn't want to come say hi. <laughs> and then um, I struggle with really, really dry hands. Um, my cuticles are always um, peeling. It's just, it's not good. Thankfully, I seem to have them under control. But what really helped me was this Medline Re Ready with um, Olamine Skin Repair Everyday Moisturizer, Moisturizer Nourishes and Conditions Dry Cracked Skin. It's non-allergenic and non-sensitizing. My aunt got this for me. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to get it, uh, but if you can get your hands on it, it's it's awesome. It's got a different smell. It's got kind of a herbal smell, um, so it's very uh, gender neutral. It's really, really good. I've got my sunglasses in my sunglass case. I need to glue that. Love them. Bigger the sunglasses, the better. Oz, you just keep poking in, but you don't want to say hi? Okay, and last but not least, this thing has seen better days. Look at it. I got this at Maurice's. Gosh, I was in high school. Um, but it is my makeup bag. It's where all those lip glosses should have been. So let's dive into what's in here. I've got a uh, perfume. I like about this is... It's one that you can refill. Um, right now I have my Bath and Body Works Pink Chiffon in that one. My inhaler. Bag of cough drops. An antibacterial spray that I got at um, my health fair. <laughs> I, I'm like a mom. I've got band-aids and wet towelettes, a little thing of like ibuprofen, I've got fingernail clippers, Dramamine, more, another hair tie, hair clips, and bobby pins, eye drops. This I got in my Ipsy bug, it's a um, lip balm. Malin and Goetz Mojito Lip Balm. But what I like about it is it's super hydrating. I've got some Mary Kay blotting papers. Ballistex chapstick. I've got a lipstick that I have no idea. There is nothing on it. And a NYX Lip Butter Balm in Panna Cotta, maybe? I don't know. I like this because it gives a bit of a color, but it's nothing, um, nothing crazy so I can put it on without looking. 
And then the inside pocket, we've got, ah! and of course it was open and it just fell out. But inside the pocket, I've got this little coin purse that normally has, except for they all fell out, all of my like club perks and stuff. So business cards, all those stupid rewards cards that everywhere seems to have now, they just go in this zipper pocket and in my purse. And then normally that's where my set of keys are, but they're not because they were hanging out in the bottom of my purse. And with that, that is all that's in the bag. That emptied out a lot quicker than I was prepared for. There was also a lot more garbage in there than I was prepared for. I should probably treat my bag a little nicer. But um, I will link below anything that I can link to. I'm not sure there'll be a ton that I can. I will do some research and see if I can figure out the bag information. I will also um, link below this look. I did a get ready with me um, before I filmed this. I filmed a get ready with me. It is all the eye, the eye look. Um, is all drugstore. The face has two products that aren't drugstore. There's just some things that I can't can't find drugstore replacements for. But I will link that below. I will also link the blog and my social medias. Um, if you want to jump over there and check them out. If you have any requests or suggestions for future either blog or video requests, please, please, please comment below. I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. Um, but with that, thanks girls. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you have a great day. Bye.